Hi everyone, Wendy Spanish Crafter here. Welcome back to my craft room here in Spain. I'm back on to show you this triple tag notebook. Whenever you get a kit, well not all the time, but sometimes you get a sheet with three tags on, three large tags. And I can't find one now. Just bear with me one minute. like this these are from Artie Mays I think this was a freebie on her Facebook group um, and this one is made from a, one of her Christmas kits um, I was printing some papers off to decorate some uh, Christmas bags and ran out of ink again but I thought it's okay because I just um, stick it onto a little miniature carrier bag that John gets his meds in from the Farmathia so this is one that I've made and I've just tied it with um, seam binding, put a little charm on and I have actually made these before and I'll link that video below, it was part of a design team make but there's just two little notebooks in here and I've just used totally plain paper and I'm making a few of these just to give out as little gifts at Christmas um, I give some to our doctors, receptionists and people like that so you know you can pop them in um, gift bags and make it look really really pretty so I'm going to make one with you and I'll show you what I do so I'll just go and cut these out so I've just cut them out now on the guillotine and I'm going to score down these lines uh, when there's my scoring tool before I cut the triangle bits at the top off and I've just used 160 GSM paper for these it's not terribly thick but it's fine for this purpose so I make sure that they wrap over each piece before I confirm the fold right so that's fine now I shall cut these little corners off and what I do because I think it looks nice as well as strengthening the spine is I put some of my um, torn material like you've seen me use lots of times um, it's part of a a bed sheet or a quilt cover I can't remember which and I just tear it into strips and then go and iron it flat like that um, John thinks I'm mental sometimes when he sees me ironing these strips of paper <laughs> uh, strips of material but it's easier to glue on when it's nice and flat so I'm just quickly inking round there so I use um, some fabric glue or three in one. Let me just get another strip. Oops, it's done on the floor. There we go. So I'll glue these on before I sew the signature in because I like seeing the stitching on the outside as well. Get it in the middle. Now on a journal I would wrap it round onto the inside but just for this um, it's fine because it's not got a massive amount of um, papers in each signature. Now these tags measure, I've got it written down somewhere, these tags measure eight and a half, no eight by sixteen and a half centimetres which is three and a quarter by six and a half inches each tag <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh, tickle in my throat um so that's that measurement so they're all glued on and then just make sure it folds round yeah that's good so the papers i use 
are from a little notebook that I get in the china store here and I just cut them to about six by six the height is or width if you're having it that way six inches so they fit in nicely and I've already cut them out and I've put six pieces in each signature so I'm going to sew one in there see I've folded those the wrong flipping way now never mind I'll trim them a fraction so it must be the shorter side that worked out perfectly first time yeah and that's probably too long as well so I'll just trim a fraction off that one as well oops that guillotine doesn't sound very well right let's get some twine there's one piece this is just crochet crochet cotton uh, but it's quite strong I've already got my needle. I'll just sew one in on camera and then I'll just switch the camera off while I do the other one. You don't need to see me doing all this. So I'm sewing. I get my all. One in the middle. You've all done three pamphlet stitch before, but there may be some people watching that haven't. I leave my needle in while I put the next hole in. Then pull that through and put it into the other one. And then I put that next, the third hole in while the needle is still held in place there. It's quite easy when there's only a few papers it's when you've got great big fat signatures that it can go wrong. Then you want to go back in through that one. Make sure you get to the other side of your central piece. And then tie it in a nice tight knot. Just make sure it's quite taut. Now I always use a reef knot. Now on the first one I did, I put the the bow on the outside, uh, but this one I've put it on the inside, because I think I might have that as the front, so I'll put it on the outside here, so I'll make this one sort of the other way, opposite way to that one. So I'll just switch the camera off quickly while I just sew the other signature. Okay, I'm just tying this one off now. My needle safely away and I'll tie it in a double knot and then in a double bow because this bow is on the outside. Okay, so that's going to be the outside I think so I need to put my um, grommet on that side and to reinforce the paper which I very often do when I'm putting grommets in I've got some little um, circles not those and I'm just going to ink the edges because I think it looks a bit nicer um, and I'm putting three in I'm putting a little one on top of the big one for the inside and one smaller one on the outside and it just gives it some strength because you'll be pulling it when you're um, opening it all the time so I'll stick the small one before I punch the hole. Come on glue. So I'll stick that one on there. Then I'm going to punch the hole. Get the big bite. 
and I always mark the centre because it's always harder to see once it's inside the machine and I'll do the same on that, that one as well. So punch the hole, try and get it as near as I can to that dot, then stick these two together, then punch the hole in these two. underneath get as near as I can to the dot I've put on it then glue this over the you can then you can match up the hole then on the inside there see now I know I'll have to trim a little bit off here because it's sticking out yeah So then I can set the grommet. They're quite deep these grommets actually. They're quite good for a uh, if you were doing quite a thick book. Oops, the rubbish bag's overflowing down the side here. Right, let's have a look now. So that goes there. Okay, so I'm going to put, um, before I do that, what I'm going to do is glue a piece, this little scrap of material over the front. Like the, it has got a mark where you can put a hole in a grommet. But what I did with the previous one was, um, attach a piece of this and then put a staple in to hold it which I've got here and I always flatten the back of the staples like that so that's the front right let's get the twine in here I've already put a charm on here Christmas tree and then I can judge how much I need wrap it round and leave enough to tie so then the reason I put the charm on first because obviously you can't get it on once you've put it through the grommet so I attach then Put that through. I don't know if I'm making sense here or not. <laughs> right, let's get that. Come on, Wendy, your old fingers and thumbs. Where are we now? Right, why have I got two loops there? Gone wrong somewhere. Just bear with me. No, that's not right. I need the charm here. Start again, I think. Right, we want that through there. And I want a longer piece. There. Right, I think we're right now. So that goes, that's to tie it and that gets wrapped around like that okay we're there now <laughs> right so these pieces on the um, papers I'm just going to glue a white circle over them and I'm going to just chop the tops off those I didn't do on the other one but I think they're a little bit big glue oozing out and then I've got some words that I'm going to stick across there just trim the top off it's not very straight 
and I've got these words from Clarity Stamp in the UK and there's some Christmas words so I'll use Noel and Rejoice now they are stickers but I do like to put some glue on them as well because they can with the heat and time they don't always stay stuck so I'll just put a few daubs of glue on and stick over the top of that white so this is two two little books ready to go in my stash upstairs with my Christmas gifts. I have started doing my Christmas shopping. I don't buy a lot of gifts, um, only the grandchildren and John, obviously. And But I do buy each of my craft club ladies a gift as well. So I put them in the carrier bags that I decorate up. Uh, let me just show you a couple I've done here. Um, they're just little paper carrier bags and I just stick some papers to cover the wording up because they have Pharmathia written on. I don't go, you know, mad with them. Um, just make them look a bit nicer. And then I just put some crafty stuff in and maybe some perfume or stuff for them. Right, so I think we're done. Okay, and then that just ties, wraps around and ties at the side. Whenever I do this, the charms never seem to lay the right way. And I've tried taking it off and putting it back on. You have to twist it round. So that is two little notebooks made with the triple large tags that you very often get with kits. And I think they'll make nice little stocking fillers. And they're just a great size to put in your handbag. And just lovely okay i would love you to subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell and i shall see you next time bye